I think it is just not as good of a product. Mm. I think that Apple uh, became complacent uh, mm. and lost ground. And I think that app, uh, Amazon and now Google are extremely motivated in this yeah. area. Amazon particularly... Remember, they tried to introduce a phone, the Fire Phone. Uh, yeah. When, that was a huge disaster for them. And they did the I, their own iPad, their tablets. The tablets have actually done okay. They did okay, right? Uh, people like to read books on them. Yeah, but they but they haven't... Um, this is the, the Alexa is their opportunity to have a platform, an operating system, uh, and something for developers to build on top of. And it's working. And it seems to be working, but they have to... This is a, a, a difficult... It's a... It's a difficult business to build right yeah. building a platform like this is really hard yeah and um what does it take to build a platform what what are the components how did microsoft and apple ios android build their platforms before what are the key components that they need to build well so there, there's a lot that goes into this right i mean you have to have support you have to have hardware okay um, of some kind and, and so, either partners or your own or partners or your own or both which is what they're doing here amazon makes their own and they partner yeah. siri is only available on yeah. and Mac that's again hardware. Apple has shown that that is not a limitation right, right. being restricted to the hard to a- Apple you can only get Apple's operating systems on Apple's hardware and that has not been a limitation to their success it's limited them on a percentage market penetration but, but it has it's it's benefited them on a profitability basis. exactly and so I'm, I don't think Apple's I'm not going to shed a tear for Apple uh, or worry about Apple yeah. there but I think for Amazon the other thing that they need to do is they need to get developers building ah. for their platform and it's not just about incentivizing developers to build Alexa skills which are their equivalent of applications developers have to figure out how to make money right here. and that was the thing that has Microsoft- anybody figured out how to make money off a skill because we just built one for the angel podcast we do so, or I should say somebody built it for us I gave him permission mm-hmm. But I, you I can't mean, sell I, I, a skill, right? They don't can, for sale? You can, so this is where I have proprietary information, but oh. um, I, I will say that there will be monetization yeah. in the future. There'll be a skill in the near store future. with apps. And, uh, yeah, I think I've heard this. Yeah. So you'll be able to pay for a skill. You'll be able to do a number of things. You'll be yeah. able to, I'm going to be careful what I say here, but um, yeah. But you'll be able to, uh, there'll be advertising, there'll be commerce, and there will be subscriptions, hmm. and there'll be a number of, of so ways. So if I were to say, hey, Alexa, play... This Week in Startups, it might say, This Week in Startups brought to you by, and then say a couple sponsor names or something. Uh, yeah, and you can, I mean, you can do some of that right mm. now, on, but um, uh, things like that will be baked in. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, so I think there's going to be, I, I think Amazon is aware that it's not just enough to have a great SDK, it's not mm. enough to just have reach, that at the end of the day, people need to be able to build viable businesses on top of your platform. And that's something that Microsoft understood really well, yeah. and that's something that Apple has understood really well around iOS, which is you have to give, you have to, developers have to make it, have to have the opportunity to get paid for their products. Yeah, they need some level of control and they definitely need the ability to get paid. Ian, when you look at this product, every time I say, hey Siri, play John Mayer on Spotify, Mm -hmm. I get the spinning wheel of death (laughs) that takes like six, seven, eight seconds. And if you're driving, it's even worse. Because you're on the, you're not on Wi-Fi. Now, when I say, "Hey Alexa, play John Mayer on Spotify," it just works like instantly. Why is Siri so horrible? I mean, the whole point of voice is for it to be faster. If it's not faster, then there is no point to suffering through voice commands and looking like a dork, saying, "Hey Siri, set a reminder for 7:15," and like you do that, and it's like a 15 seconds till you realize it didn't get it. Yeah. And then you want to throw the thing out the window. Why does it suck so bad? Because they dropped the ball on it. They got into, they got, I mean, Siri was fantastic when it first came out. It, it was one of those sort of things that really typified why the iPhone was was such a, a desirable object to have. But since then, as you say, they got lazy, they coasted, they didn't build the proper back-end architecture to, can, to carry on improving it. And this is where Google has already eaten that lunch for them, and Amazon to an extent as well. I mean, with this home product, it's late, it's expensive. The developers I've spoken to aren't wild about the development kit that's out there. But one thing, this comes back to what you were saying, Apple has been much better for developers than any other platform company for making sure that developers get a much better return for their products. I mean, if you look at iOS versus Android, mm. Apple develop, you know, the really big money is in Apple sales rather than in Android sales. Mm. So um, I don't know, this... This kind of typifies where why Apple has gone wrong in the last sort of six, six, six or so years. It's just they, they dropped the ball and they got taken away by fripperies like the smartwatch yeah. and various other things when they should have been delving directly into the home. This is where they want to be. But I think it, but it, it starts to get to areas where 
Apple is not necessarily uh, as capable as Amazon or Google, which, which is, is software, which is so, servers, it's cloud services, but it's also there's a, an AI machine learning aspect to this. They have no competency. In. Well, and it's not just about being able to create the best, uh, you know, algorithms, right? It's actually about having the training data. Yeah, and and I think that that is something that Amazon and Google have invested a lot in. Yeah, uh, and, and Facebook and Facebook yep. uh, and Apple, which is sitting on a lot of data, uh, is not necessarily able to do a lot of it because of the the promises that they've made to consumers about how they're going to use their data. Right? If they were, they're not necessarily mi- they're not going to go out there and mine all this user data that from their phones. That's the that's the promise they've made to their customers. It's that time of year again when the days are shorter. So don't waste precious daylight sifting through the sea of search results looking for the right business software for you. No, get home on time tonight with Captera.com. Captera.com. Whether you're a startup looking to keep better track of customers or a business that simply needs better payroll software, Captera's got you covered. Search Captera's 400 categories of software, and you can discover the tool that's right for your business, from anything like email marketing to scheduling accounting and beyond. And let me tell you something. As you grow, you might want to try different services. Different services are constantly coming out. And you know what? One of the big things is I find that new services come out that have more features and at better prices. Captera makes it easy to find what you're looking for. They have thousands of ratings and reviews from actual software users just like you. Best of all, Captera is absolutely free. 2018 is going to be here before you know it, so make sure you've got the software you need for your business. You want to do what you do, you just want to do it a little bit better, don't we all? So go ahead and join the millions who use Captera. That's Captera, C A P T E R R A, Captera.com slash twist, Captera.com slash twist. That's C A P T E R R A dot com slash twist captera.com slash twist go ahead and check them out and give them a thank you they are an amazing service we use them here at this week in startups and launch and we love them all right thanks again captera let's get back to this amazing program 